Hello everybody, this is Miss Lynn here, and today we're going to be reading Tomorrow Most Likely, words by Dave Eggers, pictures by Lane Smith. This story was read with permission by Chronicle Books. Alrighty, let's get started. Tomorrow most likely there will be a sky, and chances are it will be blue. Tomorrow most likely there will be a squirrel, and chances are his name is Stu. Tomorrow most likely there will be a meal, and chances are it will be brown. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a door that leads to the world where people are found. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a song through a half-open window of a slow-moving car. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a plane flying high and wide and fast and far. Tomorrow, most likely, something won't rhyme. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll touch a bright bug, green and red and looking at you. Tomorrow, most likely, the bug will seem worried. He's missing his friend. His friend's name is Stu. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll smell a good smell of an unseen flower you can't quite name. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll pick up a stone, striped like a spider web, or maybe a brain. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll see something strange. You'll hear something odd. You'll touch something gooey. You'll meet Cousin Todd. You might write a whale. You could eat a cloud. You might write a song and sing it too loud. There are mountains of time and oceans of faces, canyons of color and skies full of places. Tomorrow most likely will be a great day because you are in it. And Stu is okay. The end, everybody. That's all for story time. Now please continue watching if you'd like to participate in our craft time activities as well. Let's go. Hello, all my little angels. Welcome to craft time. First, get everything you need, starting with a parent or guardian to supervise this craft. Once your parent or guardian is present, let's get all your materials together, starting with one white sheet of plain paper, preferably cardstock, a cup of water, a paintbrush, clear tape, glue, cotton balls, and any tissue paper of your choice. Five sheets to be exact. Once you're all set up, let's get started. First, grab your cardstock. Next, fold it into an ice cream cone mold. Once you have a visual on your mold, grab your paintbrush, glue, and a cup of water. Then on the bottom left corner, apply glue as shown. Roll it up into a cone like you just did, gluing up the inner corner, then close up any loose ends with your paintbrush. Okay, once your cloudy cone is dry, grab your choice of tissue paper. Now that you have the tissue paper of your choice, crumple it up piece by piece, stuffing it into the cloudy cone like it's an ice cream cone. Apply pieces of clear tape rolled up where the sticky side is out on all ends, attaching the tissue paper to itself. After your cloudy cone is stuffed, scrunch up four balls of tissue paper, taping them together in the form of an actual cloud you would see in the sky.
form as finely as possible your cloud to make sure that it's stable for the rest of the project. One by one, begin to unravel your cotton balls. Use your cotton ball streamers to wrap your cloud diagram much like an Egyptian mummy like shown. As you continue to wrap your cloud in cotton, you will soon realize the cotton sticks to itself. Now continue wrapping your cloud diagram until your cloud is completely mummified in cotton. Once that is complete, tape the top triangular part of your paper cone to the paper and cotton of your cloud, securing your cotton cloudy craft. Finish shaping your cloud as well as you possibly can. Yay, we're all done everybody. High five, you did great. I hope everybody enjoys their cloudy craft. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, until next time, thank you for coming to Craft Time with Miss Lynn. Bye-bye.